Use these three plays down on the goal line to actually manipulate defenses and get easy touchdowns. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. For a courtesy for you guys, I'm actually going to be showing you my controller, uh, just so you can see how I make my uh, adjustments uh, with my uh, setting up my plays and stuff like that. We're going to be taking a look at three plays. Uh, that I'll be using down in the red zone. Now, uh, the area of the field that we're going to be looking, uh, we're going to have the ball at, is going to be between between the 20 and about the 15-yard line. I can go inside the 15, maybe about the 12-yard line or so. This is one of these plays don't work as effectively once you get past, once you get inside the 10-yard line. You want to use a different type of set, and I'll I'll be rolling out some more videos on how to do that. So uh, the first play we're going to take a look at is going to be how the gun doubles Y off. I'll use this as our base play. And the play we'll be looking at is, of all things, four verticals. Uh, I've used this play before successfully online against multiple different types of opponents and I've been able to expose them up the seam uh, just because of the way this play manipulates um, uh, coverages and you can use this down in the red zone when you're about 50, you know, 15 yards out or so, uh, 10 yards out, 20 yards out, you're always going to get yourself an opportunity for an easy touchdown. You can't go to the well too much with this play because then your opponent will pick up on it so we're going to build off of that and we're going to go into a, a formation that I haven't really been using a lot is online but it, it's got a lot of great plays in it. So we'll be taking a look at shallow cross and then dagger. Uh, so these are alternatives to uh, the, the first play, which should be able to get you an easy, easy touchdown against your opponent down in this area. So we'll come out of the, the gun doubles Y off first. For coverages, most players, most players, not everybody, but most players use zone coverages. So we're just going to use random zone coverages. And I'm going to go ahead and make uh, reads uh, based off of the zone coverages. So this is the base play. Once again, it's going to be this uh, the verticals out of the, the gun doubles Y off. Uh, the key to this play, um, pretty much everybody has a play like this in their playbook, is making sure that you have two wide receivers on one side, you have your tight end on the right side, and then you have uh, underneath route by Elliott or your running back. Uh, the left-hand side, obviously, is another vertical. So what I like to do is I'd like to take my left of screen, uh, uh, my left screen wide receiver Hearns and actually put him on a slant route and I'm going to go ahead and motion him over like this. Uh, once he settles, I'm going to go and snap the ball. I've only got one read, one read only, and that's going to be uh, my, my tight end. But as you can see, he gets naked in the back of the end zone because no one covers him. Uh, so this is definitely a glitch in the coverages, uh, way this play this play sets up, and I can pretty much do this uh, against most zone coverages. Someone has to manually defend him, and that's what's great about this particular play. So you could you could pop your opponent with this play a few different times. So watch, nobody's there. Even though the ball actually sailed on me, you could see nobody was in that area. So I'm gonna probably have a couple a couple bad animations. I'm gonna to try to highball the pass uh, just so I can get past the coverages and then do an aggressive get, uh, catch. But you'll watch, you can see that this tight end, nobody covers him, and he's able to go ahead and get in the end zone for an easy touchdown. So perfect play to go ahead and uh, to, to run around the 20, uh, 15 yard line because you need this, you need time for this play to develop. Uh, you need space for this play to develop. Opposed to you can't use this down in the uh, right by the goal line. You can't use it on the five or the uh, the, the uh, you know two yard line or a two point conversion because this there's not going to be that separation that you're looking at. So once again, bad animation, bad throw by the quarterback. But you can see nobody plays him, uh, and this is a really good opportunity. So if you're playing Mutt, uh, you should be able to go ahead and get an easy completion. Uh, your your opponent, if you throw this at him a couple times. See, look at this wide open. Oh, oh actually, I got. See, I didn't. I didn't hide all the pass because I was getting bad animation by the CPU, and the and the the defender actually uh, super banned that ball. But once again, we're just going to go uh, uh, right here with this tight end and watch how the coverage doesn't cover him. So here we go. That's it. So uh, outside of some bad high ball passes. In this type of situation, obviously you want to go ahead and just dagger your opponent. Use this play right away uh, with them, maybe maybe on a first down when you're down in this area of the red zone, and just go ahead and just punch that ball in. 
not a good play to go ahead and uh, use against someone that's actually going ahead and trying to milk it. Uh, so right there, that was actually some kind of matching principles. But for the most part, I think that was cover four match. Uh, and that's why that actually the defenders actually uh, uh, followed up. So if you've got an opponent that's using cover four, I'm going to show you something uh, about cover four. If he's using cover four match, which was the read, uh, a lot of times what's going to happen is this defender, this 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 wide receiver should be able to get, you should be able to go ahead and squeeze a pass into him. Uh, a lot of times he'll be wide open, and then obviously you can check down to, to underneath the running back seat was, right, was wide open for an easy completion. So if defenders float up, if they don't come down, you're just going to go and check it down to the running back with that. So let's go and jump into the next play, but you can see on how this play gets naked open in the back of the end zone with the majority of the zones out there. So the next play we're going to take a look at is uh, going to be uh, out of the uh, Y, uh, out of the uh, pistol doubles. So pistol doubles, and we're going to go ahead and select a Y shallow cross. So I want to give my opponent the same type of a look. I want to go ahead and make him preoccupied with the, the, the tight end. This is basically setting himself up. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and motion my guys over like this and then go ahead and whip out my guy. Now what's going to happen is I'm, I'm going to basically have a, a three different areas of the field that I'm going to be looking at. This is not a guaranteed get into the red zone type play, but it will give you an opportunity to get a shot uh, for an easy touchdown or get the ball down to the two yard line or settle for, for, for a five yard whip route. So uh, right here is where you're going to get that corner shot that you can go ahead and take. Now sometimes what happens is, is the coverage just will not cover that corner. So this is how you set it up. I'm going to go ahead and hit my left bumper and max protect because that's just one step and you know it doesn't account as an audible. I'm going to go ahead and take my tight end and actually go ahead and, and, and streak him up. And I'm going to go ahead and take this guy and motion him over. And while I'm motioning him over, I'm going to take Beasley and put him on a whip route. Now, the reason I have Beasley on a whip route off to the right-hand side is because that they'll actually pull down a cloud flat. That will preoccupy the cloud flat, allowing that cor which was a post route, a corner route by um, by Hearns. It actually will go ahead and allow that to become wide open. Now I've got Swamp pushing up the the zones, and then I've got Cooper coming down the back end side uh, with the uh, with the in route. So let's watch how this play breaks down. See how the corner gets wide open right there. And that was actually a bad pass. I didn't make a good pass lead on that, but I'm able to go and get a touchdown. So this play is just another, is a compliment to what you did previously. So if you hit the guy with the seam a couple times with the tight end, he's going to have to chase that seam route because he thinks his, his coverage is going to break down. Now it's going to allow you to go and hit him in the corner in the same type of area of the field and hit him for an easy touchdown if he's got, uh, if he, if he's running the right coverages. So once again, why shallow? We're going to go ahead and uh, max protect by hitting light left bumper pushing up we're going to go ahead and take our uh, tight end and streak them up and whip up our outside wide receiver motion over Hearns and the first per first area we're going to look at is Hearns and see if anybody follows him in the seam if no one follows him in the seam we're just going to go and pop it if not we're going to go ahead and look for that corner route and just try to get that ball in the red zone that way that corner route will get covered up eventually uh, you're not going to always get that for an easy read with the corner, so you have to make your, make your next progression. And we're going to be looking for Cooper over the middle and then Beasley down below. So right here, let's see if anybody falls up to the corner now. So right there, the corner is just wide open. I'm just getting, I'm just getting the, the right place selected for me. So we got cover three right here. Most likely, uh, Hearns will get covered up by the, by the uh, corner off the right-hand side if this is a true cover three. So now the corner actually covers up. And this is where you actually can go ahead and check it down, where you can get it down to the five-yard line. So you're getting the ball a lot closer to the red zone, and you're, you're making it difficult for your opponent. So we're going to go ahead and set the play up. Motion my guy over. Now, sometimes what's going to happen is people are going to float up, which this is hoping this is the case. No, see... This is why the decision I made to go ahead and go ahead and, and hit this guy over the middle with this particular play. Um, and the reason I did that is that I, I'm looking, I was going to be looking here. I was going to try to force this ball here. But this defender actually came down and played that whip route. So in other words, he was probably playing a hard flat 
and that was the reason why he actually had to go ahead and play that whip route, leaving these routes, this route right over the middle, open uh, for easy completion to get it down to the two-yard line. So, you know, in that type of situation, it's still a win because most likely if you're a first down on the 17 and you actually get it down to the two-yard line, you're just moving the ball down closer to the red zone and you're, you're demoralizing your opponent on the way out, down there. So right here, the whip route. So now this is where you would check it down to the whip route. So if the guys actually play up, and that's a do. So let's go and jump into the next play. This is a play that I'm not going to use as consistently, which is going to be dagger. Um, and it basically is just two lead. It's just going to be two reads. Um, it's either going to be uh, looking at, at Cooper uh, going across the middle, um, or I'm going to be looking at Beasley in the back end side. This is a better play to use when you're a little bit closer to the red zone. Uh, just because Beasley's staff will get closer uh, to uh, to the goal line. Uh, but really what we're going to do is we're going to see if your opponent uh, is not uh, uh, playing that, that little that route underneath, which is uh, the uh, drag route, uh, what's going to happen is, uh, so let's see here, I have to take that. So basically what happens is there's matching principles right there, and that tight end was wide open. So let's go ahead and try this again. So we're going to go ahead and drop it down to him and then just go ahead and rack that puppy into the red zone. So you'll get those type of animations against your opponent unless he follows that route with, uh, with his dagger. And if the defender actually comes down and plays it, what's going to happen is this, this route is going to open up that's going to be uh, down by the red zone. So you have a, a bigger than a 5'8 wide receiver. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna feel a little bit more confident passing uh, that particular route. So let's just go and see this right here. So I've got myself another touchdown right there. So now you got the backside route going in. So uh, once again, guys, these are, these are three plays that you can throw into your scheme. This is probably the, the least important play that I'm gonna go ahead and use down here. Uh, the first play I'm gonna definitely use is going to be that four, four verticals. The next play is that I'm gonna show my opponent the same type of a look with uh, the Y shallow and then a dagger cross. So if you guys like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button. Once again, my subscribers, thank for your support. Until next time.